Hello friends, welcome to UGC Net Online Free Coaching. This is the last lecture of uh, this lecture series, June 2005. Already I have discussed question number 1 to 40. Now this is the last lecture series of uh, June 2005. I'll start uh, with the 40, 41 question. The capability maturity model defines five levels. This is a mass the following. Actually, you know, capability maturity model defines five levels. All five levels are in first part, first given levels, in second part given all types. Now, we need to match the following. Okay. Now, first of all, we need to understand what is capability maturity model is a methodology used to develop and refine an organization software development process means capability maturity model used to uh, develop and refine an organization software development process actually in this process used five levels in first level is initial level second re level repeatability and third one is defined fourth one is managed fifth one is optimized okay now come to the question level one is initial means level one is initial option is four so first is four so in this case obviously uh, if you know this one you can uh, easily mark this option b but anyhow check it level two is what is level two repeatability means three so this is three next level three is defined level 3 is defined is 2 obviously it is true and level 1 is means level 4 is managed that is 1 managed here now level 5 is optimized so if you know the levels you can easily match this one uh, also you will get a in first option only you will get the answer that is initial is level 1 fourth option so answer is B Okay, now we'll go for, uh, this is exactly, uh, one second, I have explained in detail what are the maturity levels, just what are the, in initial level, what is, will be handled and managed level, means repeatability made uh, level, defined level, and managed level, and optimizing. These five levels, what are the characteristics of all the levels, I have explained, just go through this slide and uh, read it one second. Okay, I will not spend more time. We will go move on to the 42nd question. Which of the following is not software process model? Actually, in a uh, linear sequential model, prototypic model, spiral model, and Kokomo model, actually, these three are the phases of software development, and uh, only uh, actually the first three options so, develop. Software development process models are waterfall, prototype, prototyping, and spiral development. Actually, some other models I have listed these three. Then, what is Kokomo model? Kokomo model it is not a software development process model. This is a constructive cost model. Is an algorithmic software cost cost estimation model developed by Barry W. Bohem, actually Bohem model, this is famous called as Bohem model. The model uses a basic regression formula with parameters which are derived from historical project data and current as well as future project characteristics means it is uh, uh, overall what I am trying to explain. Kokomo model is a not a software development process model because it is a cost estimation model. Is uh, this is developed by Bohem? This is used to estimate the project cost. So straightforward question. So which of the following is not a software process model? Linear sequential model obviously it is software process model. Prototypic model is a software process model. Spiral model is a software. Model. Only Kokomo model is not a process model. It is a cost estimation uh, model. So option is B. Okay. Look at next one. System development life cycle has 
following stages requirement analysis design coding testing is given which option describe the correct sequence of stages actually in this uh, requirement uh, actually first stage is uh, requirement collection here requirement analysis is the first stage according to these four options next one is design next code and test so 1 3 2 4 first one is requirement analysis and design coding see uh, testing actually there are six uh, phases first one is requirement collection analysis design code test and implement so in this option 1 3 2 4 here start with 3 leave it start with 2 leave it start with 1 1 3 leave it start with 2 means this is also not so option is obviously it is none of these because there is no sequence or in all three so actually there are following six phases in every software development life cycle model requirement gathering and analysis and the design implement and co implementation of or coding testing development maintenance actually in this obviously there is no sequence option is d none of the above next one is which of the following which one is measure of software complexity software co complexity measured according to macobs measure i mean cyclomatic complexity measurement is measures the number of linearly independent paths through a program source code means what number of lines of a code this is the software complexity means no, how many numbers of uh, number of lines in the code that is the complexity of the software it's not a man here not a function points so obviously if it is not these two all of, all of the above it is not so option is a so a, according to macobs and hasplet measures these are the uh, these formulas used to find the uh, software complexity so according to macobs measure there is a number of lines of a code it is a software complexity so option is a which of the which of coupling is least prepared content coupling data coupling control coupling common coupling first of all we'll see what is coupling in a software engineering coupling is the manner and degree of independence between a software modules a measure of how closely connected two routines and modules are the strength of the relation between modules that is coupling actually coupling and cohesion two main characteristic of software engineering design ha, low means uh, uh, coupling is degree of independence between the software modules means related to modules but cohesion is related to elements so low coupling high cohesion is good for software engineering this question is asked many time uh, related to cohesion and coupling low coupling high cohesion is a best characteristic of software engineering so now this is related to only coupling in coupling types of coupling occurs to their prepared this is the uh, types of coupling data coupling tamp coupling control coupling common coupling content coupling this is low to high actually here question is which type of coupling is least prepared here least prepared is data coupling so option is b data coupling is least prepared content coupling is highest prepared okay in general low coupling high cohesion is a best software development characteristic model okay now we'll go for pvm and mpi library functions are implemented on the top of the actually parallel virtual machine and message processing interface these two library functions are implemented on top of the actually these two library functions used in a Uh, while message processing interface and parallel virtual machine uh, 
related to architecture of the computers related to operating systems uh, related to in between the computers these two library functions are involved but uh, it is used as like c and other api library functions but in this options universal message passing network interface driver medium access control these all are unrelated to this question so related to this one it is none of this if you want to know pvm means parallel virtual machine and message passing interface just go through this link and uh, try to know more about this question so this is a straight forward question 46 it is a none of these the frequency reuse plan is divided into cell grouping using how many cells where the number of cells equals n means if number of cells equals to n how many reused divide cell grouping you are using that is the question this is a cell pattern for use with a frequency reuse plan is disclosed seven clusters each com uh, comprising n cells per cluster are grouped together as a modified cluster each cell is a further divided into three sectors the total number of available frequency channels are divided into f times 7 so number of groups means here frequency channels associated with the groups are then associated to each of cells within the modified cluster in order to increase call capacity within a particular sector a frequency channel previously assigned to a corresponding sector within the same cell group is reused means uh, in uh, which cell you are reused that one within a conti uh, continuing increase in increase in channel reuse within a particular modified cluster the n into 7 by f into 7 reuse plan is gradually lowered to the original n by f reuse plan without reconfiguring configuring the frequency allocation throughout the network so this question is directly the num the frequency reuse plan is divided into cell grouping using how many cells where the number of cells equal to n where the number of cells equal to n obviously it is 7 here Uh, explained how exactly if it is uh, seven clusters each comprising n cells per cluster are grouped together as a modified cluster so option is c next which interim standard describes inter switching networking this is straight forward and uh, it is uh, 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 current trend and technology question this is uh, obviously uh, option is b is interior standard 95 if you want more about this uh, is 54 and uh, 95 and uh, ds 45 and nc 41 just go through this link okay now move on to the next one theoretically how many 1.25 megahertz carrier carrier are there in a carrier chain um, collision uh, sorry collision detection multiple access cell in this it is also a current trend and technology question it is straight forward question if you know the answer you can answer in a 15 second that directly it is my option is c that is 9 theoretically there can be 9 1.25 megahertz uh, carrier sense multiple access uh, per cells used in 9 cells so option is c if you want to more about this one just go through this uh, link option is c 50th question another name of ieee 802.11a is this is also a um, current trend and technology question uh, direct straight forward question this is y55 okay this is answer is ieee 802.11a is standardization for y55 5 means it sends 5 gigahertz of data 
this is a uh, strengthen of the uh, line so uh, uh, option is c okay uh, actually in this series we have discussed 41 to 50 questions also it is ends up uh, june 2005 all the questions i hope you enjoy my lecture series if you enjoy just uh, press subscribe to the channel and press the like button and if you have any queries anything share um, just mail me uh, thank you for watching